Hi everyone, it's Beth. So I um, earlier today I made a video showing you how to use the GDAX exchange to avoid some of the fees um, when, that are associated with using Coinbase when you want to go from US dollar to um, to either Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Ethereum um, because that's what's supported on GDAX. I did mention then that you know it doesn't work for instant transactions and today I did make an instant transaction so I did pay the Coinbase fees and I bought a Litecoin on Coinbase. Now even though I bought this Litecoin on Coinbase and did pay the fee there I don't have to keep paying fees on it. I can I want to send it off to my Exodus wallet and not leave it here in on Coinbase because I don't recommend that you ever leave anything on Coinbase. So I'm going to be taking my Bitcoin and my Litecoin off of Coinbase and sending it into my wallet. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use GDAX. So I'm going to come over here to GDAX. And again, GDAX is tied into your Coinbase account because this is basically the back side, you know, the back office side of Coinbase. When you make a request, a purchase request, or a sell, sell request on with the Coinbase user interface, Coinbase comes and they make the trade, make the exchange using the GDAX exchange. So you can skip that Coinbase part um, as long, like I said, as long as you're planning appropriately. But I wasn't. So now let's see. So I'm going to deposit to GDAX from Coinbase. And I'm going to be depositing the Litecoin that I have. And I guess I can't copy and paste it. But 1.1079368 Litecoin that I am going to deposit here from Coinbase. Great. So there it is. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw. You saw there was no fee that I encountered for that. But now, ooh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to withdraw the max amount here, and I'm going to give it my Litecoin wallet address that I want to use. So I'll come here to my Exodus wallet, click Litecoin, and I need a receive address. So I'll copy this receive address and come over here and paste it into this destination box, LDVX, LDVX. So that is that. And then all you have to do is press get code. They send you an SMS. withdraw funds. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so success. There it went without fees from GDAX. I'm sorry, it went without fees from Coinbase to GDAX and then to Exodus and it didn't cost me anything. So yay. All right. Well, um, if you found that to be helpful and you can, oh, by the way, you can totally, it's easy to just switch around uh, right up here. These are the pairings that they have here on GDAX. Like I said, they support Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. So um, all I did to get to interact with the Litecoin wallet was just to make sure that I was selected. Litecoin USD up here. Here is the Bitcoin USD, and I can do the same thing where I come and I choose my Coinbase account. It's going to show me how much Bitcoin I have. I 
just enter that number here. Say deposit my funds. That costs me nothing. Then I withdraw them and give it a BTC address. You can just click max there. The BTC address, I get the same way. Come over to my Exodus wallet, click Bitcoin, receive. I'm going to copy this receive address and paste it right there. One FSY Q70P, I know to be correct. So they sent, it'll send me yet another code. Okay, and then you just come down and withdraw funds. And there you go. It's just that easy. So you can see um, there are withdrawal limits, but you know, it's much less than I'm dealing with. Their daily withdrawal limits of $10,000 when you're dealing with GDAX. So I'm good at that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. So there it was. I just withdrew Litecoin, sent it out to my Exodus wallet. I withdrew Bitcoin, sent it out to my, um, to my Exodus wallet. And it didn't cost me anything. So yay. All right. Um, you know, you can pay, you can pay a fortune to Coinbase and it stinks. So if you are comfortable using an exchange, then GDAX makes this super duper easy. And like I said, you can from this, if you are needing to go back from, from crypto into fiat dollars, you can use GDAX to do it. And again, that doesn't cost you anything either. It's the same thing. Just instead of when you withdraw your funds, instead of selecting a BTC address to send your Bitcoin to, you can withdraw funds and go directly back to, um, to your bank account. So it's pretty easy to use GDAX. And best of all, it's pretty free. If you liked the video and you found it to be at all helpful, then please do hit the like button. If you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. I look forward to reading your questions and comments down in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for your time tonight, and I'll see you next time.